Good afternoon, my dear students. In this class, we shall try to solve problems on transpose of a matrix. Okay? So, let's get started. The very first question is, for the matrices A and B, verify that AB whole dash is equal to B dash into A dash, where matrix A is given and matrix B is given. Okay? So, this is the question. So, what are we supposed to do? We have to verify that AB whole dash is equal to B dash into A dash. Okay. So, let's get started by taking out our LHS part. So, what is there on LHS? LHS is this, right? So, AB whole dash. Clear? Okay. To solve this, first way let us solve the matrix for AB. Okay. After finding out what is AB, then we shall take a transpose of AB. So, that will get a LHS part. Okay. So, let's begin. A is what? The A is 1 minus 4, 3. And B is what? Minus 1, 2 and 1. So, how do we multiply these matrices? So, before we begin to multiply these matrices, let us check out the condition. Whether can we multiply or not. So, what is the condition to multiply the matrices? Yes, we have to check out for the order. Now, what is the order for this matrix? 1, 2, 3. So, 3 rows. How many columns? There is only one column. Okay. So, 3 cross 1. And for this, let's go with the row. There is only one row, isn't it? There is only one row. So, 1 cross how many columns? 1, 2, 3. So, we have 3 columns. So, this is 3 cross 1 and this is 1 cross 3. So, the condition is this should be equal to this, isn't it? That is, number of columns of first matrix should be equal to number of rows of second matrix. If these two things are equal, then we are free to multiply any matrix. Clear? Okay. So, A, B is equal to. Okay. So, after you multiply a matrix, we can predict, you know, uh, like before multiplying a matrix itself, we can predict the order of a resulting matrix. Isn't it? Can we predict the order of this resulting matrix? What will be your order? 3 cross 3. See the outer part? See this, this matrix, after we multiply, we need to get... The order 3 cross 3 for this particular matrix. So please be careful. That is, you need to get 3 rows 1, 2, 3, and also you need to get 3 columns. Clear? Fine. So we need to find 9 elements now. So let's begin. So to multiply, I told you to take I told you the technique to use, which, which is the technique? Rows versus Columns, isn't it? Multiplying, take out the row of first matrix, that is matrix A, and multiply that with the column of matrix B. Okay, so let's begin. So, take out the row of first matrix, that is 1. There is only one element in that particular row. Okay, so I'm taking just 1 into. Take out the column, take out the first column of matrix B. The first column is minus 1. Just multiply that 1 into minus 1, minus 1. Write it here. Alright, so this is minus 1. That's all. See, they are getting e one, only one element, that's because they are, they are having only one single element in the row and also in the columns. Okay, next. Same way, let, let me retain the row as this. Now, I will take the second column. In the second column, I have only one element, that is 2. So, 1, 2 is a 2. Clear? Next. Now, change the column. Next column is 1. So, 1, 1 is a 1, 1 is a 1. Okay, now change the Row. Let us go with the second row because we have already finished the columns. So 
let me go with the second row. So let me choose the second row that is again we have only one element here that is minus 4. Now choose the column, first column. First column we have minus 1. So minus 4 into minus 1 is plus 4. Minus into minus becomes plus. Minus 4, keep it as it is. Take out the second column. That is 2. 4 into 2, 8. So it is minus 8 because you have minus. Next one, take out the third column. That is, my, that is 1. Minus 4 into 1 is minus 4. Clear? Okay. Now, we will take the third column. That is 3. Again here also. So you will take a third row. That is 3. Again here also we have only one single element. Let's multiply with the columns. That is minus 1. 3 into minus 1 is minus 3. And 3 into 2. So take out the second column now. 3 into 2. 6. Take out the third column. That is 1. 3 into 1. 1. Here. Yeah, so this is how we should multiply the matrices. Okay. Now we have got what is AB. Isn't it? After we get what is AB, the matrix AB, what we are supposed to do? We should take a transpose. Clear? So how to take a transpose of this AB? How to take a transpose of AB? We have to interchange the rows and columns. That is, take the row and make it as a column. Take the second row, make it as a second column. Take the third row, make it as a third column. Let's begin. See here. Minus 1, 2 and 1. It is in a row. Okay. So make it as a column. Next. 4 minus 8 minus 4. 4 minus 8 minus 4. Next. Minus 3, 6, 3. Minus 3, 6, 3. So I should write like this. Right? Minus 3, 6, 3. So this is just a transpose of matrix A. So we have done with LHS part. Now shall we do the RHS part? Okay. So now the RHS is B dash into A dash. Right. So what is B dash? In the question we have only B. Only the matrix B. So how to take a trans B dash? B dash says what? We have to take a transpose of B. So transpose of B. So this is in a row. I will take a transpose. Transpose becomes like this. Isn't it? This is B dash. B dash in the sense. We should take a transpose of matrix B. Okay. So this is in a row. Make it as a column. I hope you understood. Next one. A dash. Same way. This is here. Actually this is in a column. Isn't it? Now I will make it as a row. That is 1 minus 4. And 3. Clear? So this is in the column. Change into row. Now we should multiply these two. So I will uh, tell you. Like, we will do it directly with the direct multiplication. Right? I will tell you how it is. Minus 1 into 1. Minus 1. Minus 1 into minus 4. Plus 4. One, minus 1 into 3. Minus 3. Clear? Next one. 2 ones are 2. 2 into minus 4. Minus 8. 2 threes are 6. Next one. 1 ones are 1. 1 into minus 4. Minus 4. 1 threes are 3. Same way. I have used the same procedure already. How we did for this one? Same procedure I used. But I did it directly instead of writing those techniques. Clear? Okay. So let's check. This is your equation 1 and this is your equation 2. Just check. Are they equal? Obviously yes. They are equal. So what is our conclusion? Our conclusion is from, from 1 and 2. From 1 and 2. A B whole dash is equal to B dash into A dash. So this is very very important. And they ask you this 
question for five marks in your board exams. Clear? Hope you practice this well. We will do one more problem for today's class. Sin alpha and sin alpha is sin square alpha 
Okay, minus to minus becomes plus. Here, okay. Let me retain the row as this. Let's go with the second column. Second column is how much? And the second column is what? Sine alpha here, and now we have cos alpha. Clear? Now multiply cos alpha into sine alpha. There is cos alpha sine alpha. Is it? Yeah, just write it as this. Cos alpha into sine alpha is cos alpha sine alpha. Next, minus sine alpha into cos alpha gives you minus sine alpha cos alpha. Just write it directly. Here, yeah? y minus because we have minus here. Next, let me take the second row. We have finished with the columns, so let me go with the second row. Second row gives us like this. So this is sine alpha. Sin alpha and cos alpha is the row and take the first column. See this is the row, this is your column. This is your second row and this one is your column, first column. So sin alpha and cos alpha, sin alpha, cos alpha itself, right? Cos alpha and sin alpha, minus sin alpha is two. Minus cos alpha sin alpha. Minus is because you have minus here. Okay, I'll repeat again. Sin alpha into cos alpha is sin alpha cos alpha. Cos alpha into minus sin alpha is minus cos alpha sin alpha. Okay. Let us take the second. Let me begin with the axis. Take out your second column. Second column is. Sin alpha, cos alpha. So sin into sin, sin alpha into sin alpha is how much? Sin square alpha. Sin alpha into sin alpha gives us sin square alpha. Cos alpha into cos alpha gives us cos square alpha. Excellent. Cos alpha into cos alpha is cos square alpha. Okay, so please use your brains and let me know. What is cos square alpha plus sine square alpha? What will be the answer for this? Yes, it is. It is one. How it is one? It is a identity. It is a trigonometric identity. You have something like sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to one. Similarly, in the place of theta, you have alpha. Okay. So therefore, this is equal to one. Now here, this is the same. So this one is plus, one is minus. So I'll cancel this. Same here. This is the same. One is plus, one is minus. So cancel this. So this is zero. This is zero. This one is also zero. The last one. Sine square alpha plus cos square alpha is equal to one. So this is nothing but I, isn't it? So this is the Identity matters because the principal diagram elements are equal to one and the rest all are zero. So this is something but RHS. So this is how you solve problems on transpose of a matrix. So practice well and keep it revising. Okay, thanks for watching.